Hello Peace, I'm Moto PT. In this video sync the Planet 2024 11th edition. My plan is to give you three texts on peace, one by Mahatma Gandhi, a second by Donald Walsh, and close with my own opinion ending. This video was supposed to be in Portuguese, but as viewers in Portugal are few, I decided to let artificial intelligence dub the video into English. You will also have multiple subtitles and settings. So I'm here doing this ride for world peace, peace for everyone, even in very difficult times with two and a half years of war in Ukraine. A war also in the Middle East and others that we don't even know about. War visibly takes away peace. I hope these wars end quickly. I found something second on the internet, written by Mahatma Gandhi. I quote, Peace is a state of harmony and tranquility that we all wish to achieve in our lives. It is a feeling of calm and serenity that surrounds us and makes us feel in balance with everything around us. Peace is not just limited to the absence of conflicts or wars, it goes beyond that. It is the ability to deal with life's adversities in a peaceful and resilient way, without losing hope or optimism. It is the feeling of compassion and empathy for others, of acceptance and tolerance in the face of differences. Peace is something that begins within ourselves, in our thoughts, emotions, and attitudes. We need to cultivate peace in our hearts so that we can radiate it to the world around us. It is a constant process of self-knowledge, forgiveness, and love. When we are able to find peace within ourselves, we are able to share it with others. Peace is contagious and spreads like a positive current, transforming the world into a more harmonious and happy place. May we all seek peace in our lives, cultivating tranquility and love in our hearts. May we be agents of peace, promoting unity, respect, and compassion in all our relationships. For, as Mahatma Gandhi said, there can be no peace in the world without inner peace. End of quote. Another thing on the internet that I saw, but couldn't find again, was by Donald Walsh. The story was more or less like this, I quote. Someone asked God to be strong. So God sent men and women who also wanted the same thing, to be strong. With them came wars for them to fight. The more they fought, the stronger they became. Once they were fighting as they asked, they entered a vicious cycle. Some saw that it was bad to fight like that without weight and measure and often without any reason. They tried to escape from it, but they couldn't. It changed their nature. They couldn't get out of there. And so they died after years of fighting. Another asked for intelligence. So God sent him problems to solve. Another asked for plenty of food. And then God sent him a field to work and produce the food. Another asked to live for 2,000 years and lived. But from the age of 90, he no longer remembered who he was and lived the rest of his life in oblivion of his own being. Another asked to do nothing and have everything he wanted. And he did nothing else. He had everything he wanted, but nothing satisfied him. Donald Walsh also says this. I quote, Be careful with your thoughts. Be careful what you ask God for. He always says yes. The one who says, oh my God, I have a pain in my chest. God says, yes, you do. And the pain continues. The one who says, oh my God, I have trouble paying my bills. God says, yes, you do. And the difficulty continues. End of quote. In my opinion, civilization will have four or five billion years if everything goes well to build inner peace and affect the world with peace. Then the sun burns the entire planet, and we will return to the same thing, in another place, on another planet of the apes under the same conditions, if peace is not achieved. I don't think we will have the right to sit at God's table if this is not the case. I think we are here because every time we went there we knocked on the door, someone said, no, no, go try again, free will, eternity awaits you. I sincerely wish much peace for all of you, and that it is not just today, but something lasting. And may your life be favorable, and may your life improve a little more every day. May your working arms return the value they deserve. May your health be as good as you can think like that. Your happiness may be as sincere as you are. May you love yourself the best you can, and you can give this love to your fellow man by loving your neighbor. And in all this time, God patiently waits for his son, seeing your effort to reach him. A blind man threw away his cane because he started to see. And I'm not talking about blind people. Let's now end the video. Next year, Sink the Planet returns. 
this time on the 2nd and 3rd of August, 2025. Let's see if things will be better then. Much peace. I am Moto PT.